With children, the main indication for tubes is going to be recurrent infections in the first year or two of life. Uh, when you have up to five, six, seven infections in a given year, uh, and if these infections are significant, um, then a child usually benefits from placing tubes. Another indication is some children have a chronic fluid in the ears and this affects their hearing. And we find that certain children, when they have fluid in their ears for a long period of time, and by that I mean up to nine months, that we believe that that affects their speech and language development. So the introduction of tubes would be effective in helping prevent that. Those are the two main indications. Now there's a third group of children when they get a little older, and this would be similar to adults. When their natural ventilation of their ear, a tube that is called the eustachian tube, when this tube ceases to function well or doesn't function well even from birth, um, that child would benefit from tubes because you start losing the ability to vibrate the membrane and the membrane starts sucking into the middle ear. And uh, that, that is referred to as eustachian tube dysfunction. Okay, so those are the three main indications for tubes. Most children, I would say, up to the age of 10, um, you would need to be under general anesthesia unless you want to do a papoose uh, hold down technique. I personally prefer to use some anesthesia because of the traumatic nature of, of holding a child down and putting in tubes. But what you do is you have them breathe a general anesthetic and they usually fall asleep pretty quickly and then you look in their ears and with them not moving, you then introduce a tube that, is, that has got two flanges on each side. So you introduce one flange, goes in the inside of the ear and the other one sticks on the outside and that way it keeps it on the membrane from migrating in or migrating out. If you're awake, it certainly would be uncomfortable. Yes, under anesthesia it would hurt far less. In adults, you usually do it in the clinic, you provide some topical numbing and an adult understands they're going to feel a little, a little poke and, and the tube goes in and it usually, usually is well tolerated. But when a child's unable to understand that, it's like you know, trying to have them hold still for a shot, you know, and they uh, will fight you and move and cry and, inter and the, the precise introduction of a tube in that setting becomes more difficult. The procedure would last about 10 minutes.